Jacob, thank you so much for joining us here today to have an open conversation about what you're doing at TCP Cloud. Thank you, Jennifer. It's my pleasure to be here today. So TCP Cloud is a big contributor to Open Contrail and that you have been using Open Contrail for a while. Is your cloud services all about an SDN controller and orchestration or is there more to that? Open Contrail brings the great benefit of overlays. From our experience and implementation, we know that the underlay is also very important for the customer to get the solution robust, stable, and get the great convergency. So we are using Juniper MX as de facto standard for our solution as the gateways, which bring us great uh, performance, nearline throughput, and also the QFX series switches, which we use as top of the rack integration. So using the MX as an SDN gateway and QFX as the underlay switching fabric, I heard you say it's very robust and resilient, and those are great benefits for your customers. So when you're a infrastructure as a service player, what kind of benefits then do you promote to your customers because yeah. you have that underlay in yeah, place? Yeah, the, uh, the benefits are pretty clear. It's automation and openness. So Juniper MX can be very easily managed by NetConfiang protocol. It's open and we are now able to push L3 VPNs or eVPNs directly to MX mm -hmm. to automate the whole procedure from the customer's branch office directly to virtual machine or container in our cloud. And also automation in point of view, getting non-virtualized bare metal servers in the cloud because not every legacy system can be virtualized and a lot of enterprises need to integrate old world to new world. So QFX switches brings powerful solution for this. A lot of people are still struggling with being able to really stretch between two fabrics. It's great to hear how you are able to provide that functionality today. Yeah, I think that the openness of the Juniper solution is great because the QFX switches has a OVSDB capability for the control plane. So we are now able to integrate the legacy customer enterprise solution, which cannot be virtualized directly through the QFX switches to get L2 from my physical non-virtualized server to virtual machine on the cloud and extend it to solution into other multi-hypervisor or multi cloud solution. So this is a great benefit for us. Definitely, I think bridging between legacy environments like you were talking about, utilizing OVSDB, and then also being able to bridge to the future is important. Do you see that these components can be key players in where you're evolving your cloud? I think that the great benefit of Juniper Underlay is Junos, because this aggregation of Junos from the hardware for example, we bought our MX series four years ago and we still have the latest feature because we just upgraded the Junos. And even if you look at what uh, Juniper does now with the Docker containers, everything is containerized. Yes. We are getting SRX series into containers, same like MX series. And with Open Contrail, we can do NFV with Docker containers. This is the future. Put the Junos into Docker container and use these fancy technologies. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Really appreciate having yeah. you. Thank you very much.